Namaste. A beautiful day here in uh, Portugal. Good, beautiful morning. And uh, in a few days, I'll be leaving for India. I have this um, thing maybe I can share with you because sometimes, you know, we are speaking with uh, Sangha. And uh, here we are speaking to more, we're quite developed beings in the sense that to, uh, uh, there's the understanding becoming now one's own testimony, one's own uh, experience, that oneself is a self, or at least the presence in whose, uh, in whose, uh, in whose light all things are perceived. Right? But sometimes I have to bring a point and to, to, to say, I need to bring this point to you. And as soon as we begin to, to, to point it out, some defensiveness is coming up, you see. And of course, in the human world, this is natural. We feel very quickly, <gasps> we're going to be attacked or you know, pulled apart. But this, remember, this is a really the person, you see. And what I see is sometimes like this, that as soon as this approach is made, when something very strong has to be stated or something, we get the hood up, like you know, the snake, whoa, like this, because you feel under attack. But I am only speaking to those who are searching for the truth. The common man you know, will do everything to live, to survive. But the one who is searching for truth will do everything to take every opportunity to die. Again, the regular man whose identity is based on ego will do everything to live. But the spiritual one who is searching for truth will take every opportunity to die. What it means to die? It means to die to one's ignorance, to die to ego, to die to fear, to die to suffering, to die to misconception, to die to judgments, so that they can really re-emerge or to wake up to their eternal and timeless being and reality. Please reflect on this, if my words mean something to you in this moment. Watch this tendency to, to react and to, to defend, and don't identify with it, just observe and stay in the neutrality of your being. And like this, if you don't feed it, if you don't give it the food of your attention, your belief or identity, then for sure it will dissolve, it will thin away. And until it dissolves, or until you are clear in your heart that this life is for freedom, then these little defensiveness will stay, because it's the way in which you keep your ego. Thank you for your attention and uh, namaste.